Well, John, one all at Pride Park. What are your thoughts on the game? <laughs> yeah, a, a really good game. Um, you know, it was, it was it was quite difficult to assess in the in the first half because we started really, really poorly. I thought we were awful for 15, 20 minutes and uh, we were thinking about um, you know, possibly having to make a change, but ultimately we thought it was about the fact that we weren't winning first balls, weren't picking up second balls. We, we gave the ball away really sloppily and all of a sudden we clicked into gear. And when we did, I thought we were an excellent side. So we, such a contrast in the first half. The last 25 minutes, I thought we were really, really good. And it started, or, or the goal came from Deshaun winning a header. We picked up the second ball. We turned it around the corner for Paddy, who kept making that run in the first half, and we, we hadn't found him. But he was, he was absolutely brilliant on the right flank. And when we did it and when we were effective, you then see the quality that we've got in the final third, because the goal is a brilliant goal. But we have to make sure we earn the right to play in that third. And, um, and again, Derby pressed us really well and we overplayed, we played into that press, especially when we have the likes of Colby and Joe up front. So uh, that was a, a really interesting one to assess at half time. The second half was very different, it was back to the wall, we you know, had to sort of hang on in there, although I don't think Derby created a huge amount, they, they went direct, set pieces, they had put plenty off, but um, you know, it was really, really pleasing to come away with the point. What do you think sparked that change in momentum in the first half? I mean, difficult. We were difficult to really answer. We were trying to get a, a lot of information onto the pitch and, and make sure that we were um, a lot more sensible in the way we played. There were a couple of natural stoppages, and we just said to the lads, "Of course, we want you to play when it's on, but you're not going to be able to do that if Derby are pressing really high with their, their front six. It's impossible. So we need to play beyond that, and we need to play beyond with purpose and squeeze everybody up the pitch, and then we can play, and then we can get the ball down. And then I, I thought we were really excellent after that. So. Um, to be fair, the players you know, took that on board really well. That's a tough first 15 minutes for them to, to compete with. Uh, you know, we could have been a couple down in that at that time, and then when we went one and up, it could have been two or three up. I think there was a Wild Smith made a couple of really, really good saves. One down to his left, and one from the corner. So, yeah, maybe three, three at half time would have been a um, would have been a fair, fair score. There will be that element of disappointment, but what were perhaps some of the positives to take after? A result, a tough place to come, and against a tough side. Yeah, I think Derby had everything to play for today, and what we were really focused on is making sure that we uh, we played for pride. Because every time, like I said, you pull on the the Portsmouth top, yeah, you have to make sure that you do play with pride, and you're representing the 3,000 fans that have travelled here today. So, you know, we have to make sure that we put in these these displays, even when seemingly there's nothing to play for in the league. And and they did have everything to play for, and the, and the pressure built and built and built in the second half. But we were just we were excellent, I thought, in the way that we dealt with that. Had to defend a lot of set pieces. Um, you know, they, they brought good players off the bench to to really threaten us. But yeah, overall it was excellent. You made two changes to the eleven. How do you think Joe and Pigs performed? Yeah, considering Joe's been out for so long, I thought he was really good. He controlled the tempo pretty well in the in the first half, and um, you know, you can see the quality that he's he's got. And and Pigs again, when when he got to grips with the game in the first half, he, he linked things very well. He started to win second balls, and he can be a real threat. I think playing off off Colby there. So I, I thought both of them came in and did really well. And just to mention to Paddy Lane, who had a terrific game today, a real nuisance down the down the right-hand side. Yeah, I thought Paddy was brilliant. We said at half-time, the, the man with the most amount of um, space on the pitch because he earned it was Paddy. We just turned that down a, two, a few too many times in the first half where he had got in behind and we probably looked to be a bit too intricate. And there were a couple of spells in the first half, particularly when we had a bit of joy, where it's, it's good play, but we, we turn it in behind. And, and yeah, I mean, Paddy's work rate, his, his effort, his endeavour was, was absolutely awesome. And um, once he adds sort of goals and assists to the, to the back end of that, then he'll be some player, I think. And just a word on the fans, 3,000 of them today here at Pride Park. Nothing to play for in the league. I think that just says everything you need to know, doesn't it? It does. And, and I think it was really important for us to put on a display uh, whether the performance at times wasn't up to scratch, it was the, it was the work rate and, and what the lads put into it. Was the, I know that's the most important thing to them, they want attacking football and, and they want us to be positive and we, we are really focused on that. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, we want to want to dominate games but we want to be attacking, we want to be uh, forward focused and um, I know that the minimal required is, is a top, top, top end effort and I think we did that today and I think the fans recognised that and yeah, they were, they were absolutely brilliant. To, to have 3,000 travelling fans a long, long way from, from home uh, on a day where, like you said, not a huge amount to play for in the league is, is testament to what we've got in this football club.